Good evening. Don't mind this ugly color. I pulled my sister's sweater just out of her closet. So I am about to get gas because tomorrow morning, super early, I'm going on a really important road trip with my sister to Dallas. I live in Houston. It's about four and a half hours, which is a lot. I haven't been on a road trip in a while and I'm really excited. I told my sister I'm driving. I am driving. There's no way I'm gonna sit in the car and do nothing for four hours. But if you're driving, you can be productive, you can play the music that you like. But anyways, I'll tell you guys more about the trip tomorrow morning. But for now, I need to get gas, I need to get a snack, so that I can go to sleep with a good snack in my system. I'm gonna get these for the road. All right, all my stuff is laid out. My alarm is set. I'll see y'all in the morning. I'm up, I'm awake. It is 6.30. I got up at 5.30, but I had a text from my sister saying we didn't need to leave until 6.30. So yay, that was nice. I got some extra sleep. I'm gonna fill up my water bottle. Maybe I should put a pot of coffee on. I brought a little mason jar for the road and it has a lid and everything so it'll be really secure My sister went into Bucky's to go change and put makeup on. I'm gonna put some concealer on right now. And then I'm gonna go in, get breakfast, get coffee. The coffee that I made this morning was like disgusting. Like I survived, obviously. And it was like nice to have something cold to sip on, but literally it was so gross. I don't know how. But anyways, the drive has been going really well. Um, I called my mom for a little bit of it and just talked to her. Like I literally whispered because I was just kind of like, wanting someone to talk to. I always have a lot of energy in the morning and so I always am like really social in the morning and so my sister was sleeping so I was like um what do I do? So I talked to my mom of course. Um I'm just really excited to get to Dallas. It's been a long time since I've been to Dallas and I'm excited to see cafe and when my sister gets in from Bucky's we'll kind of explain what it is we're doing. Cool. It might not be the right color for me. Oh well. I'm really glad that I got a drive because when I first found out we were going on this trip and I was like, okay, I'm going with my sister. Like, this will be really fun. But like, is she gonna let me drive? I can't decide what I want. I know I need to eat. Okay, apples. How do they look though? Hmm. This is my sister. We are, let's see, we're about an hour away from our first destination. The whole point of this trip is that Lily and I are social media 
managers. managers. Wow. Kind of crazy. It sounds so official. Our recent client is Kafe Anderson, who is an amazing, amazing country singer. He's also really big, so we're kind of like, oh! We're honored. We're Fully. so honored. We're excited. We're so like, we met him um, a few months ago and he is just like the sweetest guy ever. So we're really excited to go up. We're going to shoot with him. We're going to do photos, videos, short form content. Everything. It's going to be just like the funnest day. And it's so great that he's in Dallas because otherwise we'd be like flying somewhere to like Nashville if yeah. you lived in Nashville. So it's really great. And we're really excited. It's going to be just like a busy, busy, Iconic busy day. business day. We have a stop on the way, something for Lily, and um, just trying to onboard some new clients. You know what I'm course. saying? The grind is real. The social media grind. Me and my no lid. Yes. Cheers. <laughs> I know it's look is stressing me out that it does not look. Well, it's just because I, I mean, why would I want to drink out of a straw? Like it's plastic in my body. Oh my god. <laughs> Your new boyfriend is ugly, and I'm glad to be. Have some ugly kids. Hey, when I was with you, you didn't treat me right. Girl, I was good to you. But that new boyfriend, he ugly. And I look better with you. There's a cold one for the end of the bar. Red dirt band twanging on that guitar. So came to remember. Come to forget a thousand miles from nowhere, but I kept your breath. A two step line dance, all your pretty problems away. DJ Black sounds on the hooky talk town, line dance, all your pretty problems away. We are done shooting with Mr. Cuppe Anderson. It was great. Um, I'm exhausted, I need some actual food, and yes, we're going into Bucky's. I need like something to eat. Okay, the last clip y'all saw, I was ordering on the little screen, but then I changed my mind and I pranked you guys so hard because I ended up getting the apples I was looking at this morning. I just, they were calling me. I also got fudge. I got an M&M flavor and peanut butter. So. An M&M flavor, so chocolate. Uh, it had M&Ms like in it. Oh. <laughs> There's a difference. Put down your chicken salad. Okay, Bucky's makes really good fudge. It's like so hefty and sexy. Sorry, just got really into it. This is the M and M one. I already ate it a little bit. <laughs> this is not even a taste test. Mm. It's so gross. Worst thing I've ever had. Anyway, I want more. <laughs> okay. oh, it's good. There's probably like at least 10,000 calories in each bite. Shh. It is that rich. Peanut butter jelly time. Okay. Do you like peanut butter? I like peanut butter everything. Yeah. I had to think about it for a second. Well, I can't taste it. Mmm. <laughs> it's really it's like good. forever. No, I know, because my mouth was like filled with the other flavors. That's good. Crazy. It's just a lot. I know, I'm like, okay, that's enough. Wow, one bite. How do they good. make it filled with like so much? And it's like heavy. This was like a cement block. Yeah. You can make a house out of it. <laughs> Fudge. No, they did that in Willy Wonka, but it melted. They did it where it melted. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Lily. <sighs> Girl. So I have never in my <laughs> life like almost run out of gas, okay? I literally almost did this time because the second that I got to like one bar left of gas which is like 15 or 20 kind of thing i was like okay well i'll just like stop at the next gas station for some reason that was the only part of the drive where we like didn't pass anything <laughs> yeah and then when we did pass something i was on the phone so i didn't <laughs> see it because i was distracted and oh my gosh so literally my little thing that went from one went to zero and I don't even know how he made it here. Like, I was she, flipping out. She was like, Lily, I don't know what to do. And I was like, just exit here. She's like, but we're so far. And I was like, just keep driving. I was so like, scared. Exit 97. I yes, literally 97. Was like, I was like considering, I was like, should we park and switch seats? Because I can't handle this emotionally. But then I was like, then we'll waste more gas. And oh my gosh. The fright of my life. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 